Hello, American Prestige listeners. It's Derek. I am joined, as always, by my friend and co-host, Danny Bessner. Uh, and we are very pleased to welcome back to the show returning champion, assistant professor at the Henry M. Jackson School at the University of Washington, uh, uh, assistant professor of international studies, James Lynn. James, thank you for braving uh, the gauntlet of American Prestige once more. Happy to be back. I'm always, always happy to talk to you both. Uh, so uh, obviously, uh, we wanted to to have you on. There's there's nobody better to talk about uh, the uh, this past weekend's election in Taiwan. Can you just uh, let people know how that shook out? Let's start with just the the basic results. Sure. So um, the new president is Lai Qingde, William Lai, who currently is vice president under the current administration. He is the candidate from uh, the current Democratic Progressive Party, or DPP for short. And he beat out two uh, contenders. One is Hou Youyi, who was the candidate from the, the Kuomintang, the, the Nationalist Party, which has been the main opposition party um, under the current presidency. And a new third party, uh, their candidate, Ko Wenzhe, was previously the Taipei mayor, and he mounted a, a pretty significant kind of third party challenge. And so we can talk about those specifics in a bit. And on the legislative side, uh, this the, that outcome, not terribly unexpected, in, consistent with polling. Uh, what happened on the legislative side? This seems to be a little bit more of an upheaval. Yeah. So the legislative results are also important because previously under the Tsai administration, the DPP had control of the presidency as well as the legislative UN. That is no longer the case now. So the TPP has lost seats. It now holds a uh, a very, very small minority. I, I shouldn't say a small minority. It holds a minority by a very small margin. Uh, the KMT has a one-seat advantage over the DPP. And most interestingly, the TPP, the Taiwan People's Party, this is the party of Ko Wenzhe, has, I believe, eight seats, which gives it kind of a, a so-called kingmaker role in the sense that it can form a coalition with either side, and it has a lot of power because of that ability. Uh, yeah, I mean, they're literally the swing vote right now. I mean, neither neither of the two larger parties has a majority. So this is uh, an interesting setup. Um, James, can we talk a little bit about the campaign? I mean, I know uh, this gets distilled, anything that any political event in Taiwan gets distilled for an American audience into uh, pro-independence or anti-independence. 